upon reaching overload state. Warning. Deactivation and sequence initiated. How's it going guys? Angus here from Makers Muse and this, this is possibly the hardest print in place puzzle out there. At least it's the hardest 3D printed puzzle I've ever devised. It all started when Fusion 360 introduced the ability to emboss cylindrical objects and I thought it could be useful for creating a kind of 3D maze. I've printed models like this before, known as labyrinth puzzles, and they can be incredibly challenging. Check out this series by Devon over at Make Anything for an example. But this model steps up the difficulty with this, a half inch steel ball. You see, without the ball, you can just lift open the top, which rotates off using these screw details. The ball, however, stops you from doing so and locks up the entire assembly. So the only way to solve this puzzle and open the canister is to manipulate and guide the ball through the three dimensional maze. A maze you can't see, yeah. The inspiration for this puzzle came from the fusion power cells in the Fallout universe, so I modeled in details to make it appear like a canister of some kind containing a fusion power source, with the metal sphere being required for the deactivation sequence to prevent overload. This is a print in place puzzle, so you don't even get any clues when you print it, and as with my clearance and tolerance gauge, your first layer is critical and your 3D printer needs to be able to clear 0.3 millimeter gaps at a minimum, but I printed mine on an Ender 3 from Crowley with zero issues, so it's definitely doable. All you need to do is insert the half inch steel ball into the model a few hours into the print, and then as it nears completion, you have the opportunity, if you wish, to insert a prize or reward into the puzzle itself before the printer encloses the top and it's sealed until you solve it. For easier manipulation, you'll also need to print the base which fits snugly into place and the puzzle is good to go. So you might be wondering, is this really that hard to solve? Well, so far, everyone I've given it to has raged and given up and to date, only one of my Patreon supporters has printed and solved it and also has a few unintentional behaviors which makes it even more frustrating than you might expect. Not only can you not see where the ball is, relying instead on the sound and feel, but in some places it will like unscrew a little bit, but not all the way. This is really interesting behavior and a result of the maze's path interacting with the screw path, moving the ball inside the puzzle rather than it just rolling around freely inside the maze. It gives you the opportunity to view some of the hidden maze within, but the puzzle cannot be solved this way. It will bind up. It's really neat though, and something I didn't expect, but I do fully intend to exploit in a future model, that's for sure. It is possible for the ball to jam the mechanism if someone repeatedly tries to open it at the wrong time, but that state can be resolved in reverse. Don't worry, I've put myself through more than enough play testing of this puzzle to feel confident that it's not truly impossible if printed correctly. But yes, there is a way to solve this puzzle that's a little bit less difficult if you really want to. One option is to print it in clear or translucent filament and use light to guide the ball because you can kind of see it when you hold it up to a bright light. I tried it with this one and while it does work, the effect isn't as translucent as I'd like because of the infill and honestly, I'm not really a fan of the look. Instead, I prefer this approach. This is the key to the fusion overload puzzle and yet you guessed it, it houses a strong neodymium magnet. By using this magnet, you can get a pretty good feel for where the sphere is and manipulate it through the hidden maze. However, it still does require a gentle touch and doesn't make the puzzle too easy, in my opinion. What I suggest if you want to use this puzzle as part of a treasure hunt is to hide the key elsewhere with clues to its location, which will make the solving a bit easier. It's actually quite nerve wracking though, fishing for the steel ball within 
the puzzle and manipulating it to try to guide it through the unseen path, it doesn't make it too easy in my opinion. Designing this model really pushed my knowledge of designing interacting 3D printed objects which can be reproduced reliably on affordable machines. Again, I use the Creality Ender 3. Because there's only a tiny gap between the two objects, so I've designed in heaps of tiny details, such as these small chamfers to cut away overhangs, and careful consideration of wall thickness throughout the build where the 3D maze comes quite close to the outer wall. It should go without saying, but this model is designed to print without support material, unless you want a truly impossible puzzle. If you'd like to take the Fusion Overload puzzle test, it takes around a day to print at the recommended settings, and you can find the model linked in the description below. But I also upload models free to my Patreon supporters early, if that's something of interest to you, because they also helped me play test this. And you can also find the clearance test for this puzzle if you're unsure if your printer is capable of reproducing those incredibly tight clearances. You might want to give that a go before attempting the very ambitious print job of the puzzle itself. In the same vein of this puzzle, if you're interested in achieving a better first layer and avoiding the dreaded elephant's foot effect on your 3D print, you can check out this video. And if you want to see more crazy 3D printed puzzles and mechanisms here on Maker's Muse, then maybe consider subscribing because I'd love to have you on board. Catch you later guys, bye.